I'm inspired to do a look of, uh, from the 80s, early 90s. Pamela Lee Anderson, and I'm going to do her uh, awesome movie that she was in, uh, Barb Wire. I'm going to, I'm inspired to do a makeup tutorial of that. So, first, moisturize your face. Pull back your hair. Use any kind of good moisturizer. I just use the St. Ives Oatmeal Butter Cream. Um, I don't have acne problems, so I can use just about any kind of good moisturizer on my face. So, definitely moisturize above your eyes, nose, cheeks, neck, chest area. Okay? Moisturize is very good before you start putting makeup on. Okay. And go with a skin color that's one shade lighter than your own. Everyone has different pigments. Um, I'm just using um, a natural beige. Usually beige is just like the perfect color. Um, if you have ivory skin, obviously go with a lighter color. In the winter, you go with much lighter shades than in the summer, because in the summer you get tan, so you'll need a richer color for summer. But I just, I'm using right now a, a regular beige. Okay, it's a liquid foundation. And I don't use the brushes because I don't like getting my brushes all nasty, so I use my fingertips. And when you have the moisturizer, it's going to spread really easily. So you want to start with a blank canvas and uh, obviously do above your eyes and then tie your face and smooth it out until you get full coverage. And we'll start with blank canvas. Okay. And uh, pull your hair back so you don't get makeup in your hair, obviously. I tend to do that quite a bit, especially if you have long hair. Okay, so distribute the foundation really well. And, um, and actually, I'd like to go out lighter than this color. This is just a regular neutral beige. Um, I usually like it a, a much a tad lighter. Um, but this will be okay. Okay. So once you get all that on, rub it in well. You want to set the foundation with a translucent powder which I have, and um, this is great to keep your skin dry and any shininess that will come through. Mm. So a translucent, um, I usually use, the, uh, again, a medium warm beige translucent powder. And set it, set your foundation in really well. I mean powder. Um, I use it all around my face to set the foundation. Okay. And that just starts your face off with a nice uh, blank canvas. So once you have set your powder, I'm going to use a, um, excuse me, I smell it. Okay. I'm going to use a cream, any kind of cream. This one, I'm not going to use this. Um, you buy the eyeshadow creams anywhere, your CVS or whatever. Um, well, it looks like I'm stuck using this one. You just want to get any cream base for your eyes and um, set that on there trying to find the brush to apply it. You can use a Q-tip which I find really good. And basically I just go along where your eyeshadow is going to be put. Okay. 
I'm going to do a cat's eye, so this will just help the, found, uh, the eyeshadow stick, and it won't fluff off. All right. I know it looks kind of funny now, but you're not going to see that. Okay, so what I'm going to use next is... I'm busy! Okay, and I'm going to use this um, dark uh, eyeshadow. It's a black, black charcoal. And it's not quite black, black but it works really, really good. So you want a charcoal black and I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Okay. So it's kind of weird with the camera. And you're going to go over just below your middle of your eyelid. Try this side. And we're going to do a cat's eye. And it's really strange to work with a camera. I'm used to being in front of a mirror, so. And you're going to come out. Oops. No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not used to going backwards in the camera. Any boo boos you make, just get a Q tip and you can clean it up. Okay, because in the movie she had really dark eyes. And I'm going to clean it up in a minute. It's not going to look like this. And then you want to go with the wand right where your eyelash crease is. And bring it up to the quarter. Okay. You want it on pretty dark. Okay, and I'm going to get a Q tip to clean that. Clean it up a little bit. Right here. Okay, so we have the black on, and now we're going to go with a little bit of a silver eyeliner liquid. Oh, this is so hard to work with. Okay, and we're going to go. right under the black of the silver. Okay, and I'm going to do the top. Starting at the inside of the eye, and then flip it up. Like so. Okay, once that's on, we're going to get another powder blue. We're going to bring this up a little higher, like a cat. Okay. And I love these eyeshadows with the wand because you have more control. So we're going to go right over the black with the kind of smoky dark blue. Bring it right out to the edge. Like so. And then I'm going to do the other one. Okay, and if you get some, like I said, on the inside of your eye, 
you just clean it up. And what's nice too is you have the foundation, I mean the moisturizer, so it slides right off. Okay. Alright. And if you get any under your eye, you can just clean it up because the lotion helps slides right off. And then you're going to be putting more powder on to set that because you will be getting hot. I get hot easy, so. And you just want to set that once you get your eyeshadow on. Okay, so next we're going to do um, the eyebrow. Any medium brown, if you're blonde, actually just get one to match, either an eye pencil or you can use a powder. And I use a little bit of powder on the tip of a pencil. It's a medium brown. And uh, Pamela's eyebrows are quite rounded. So you can shape them accordingly. You know, round them off. You just use little short strokes so you don't have like a line that looks like you're drawn on. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to go back to that uh, black shadow. Okay, the charcoal. And we're going to go over that blue. And we're going to bring it up a little higher. And then cut in. I'm going to do them like a cat's eye. And we're going to come out just past your, um, the edge of your eye to exceed, to lengthen your eyeshadow. And then cut in like that. Okay. And then you're just going to try to get them even here. So we're going to keep raising up and building up the color. Like I said, this is really hard with this camera because I'm not used to looking at backwards. It's pretty dark, folks. What we're doing like just above your eyebrow, we're building up higher and higher into like a cat's eye. Pretty intense. Alright, and then we're going to go back to the blue. Soften up these, this harshness here. We're going to take it from the corner of the eye and bring it in. We're going to go over that black to kind of soften it. Okay, and any boo boos, like I said, you just clean it up and cut in there if you kind of go off. Alright. This one, I'm always bad with my left side because I'm right handed. And you can shape it with the brush. Alright, so once that's on, um, you want a little bit of highlight in the white. And you just 
just going to put a little bit of highlight on the top ridge of the brow. And the highlight will go in the upper part of the eye and the inside of the ridge of the eye. Alright. Then what we want to do is take our eye pencil black and go on the inside of the eye. Okay, and of course I get something on my nose. <laughs> it's because it's hot in here and my fingers are sticky. No biggie, it'll come right off. Okay. Alright, because it's very hot in here and I'm sweating. So then we use a compressed powder with a color. It's medium. We're going to set under the eyes so they don't smudge. Okay. I'm going to darken up my eyes a little more here with the dark brown pencil. I can find it. I mean, the eyebrow. Clean up any little boo boos. Okay, next is the eyeshadow. We're going to use a black eyeshadow. Okay. And if I have false lashes, you use false lashes, but I don't have any. So just use lots of coats of mascara. Okay. Pamela had a lot of makeup in her movie, and her movie obviously was uh, far wire, but she wore a lot of leather. Okay, and oh, I smudged again. I'm so sorry. Let's see what the felt with the lotion, folks. You make a mistake; it slides right off. Which is great. Okay, so now we just want to do the lips, which you're going to just use a regular medium red lip liner or rose lip liner if I can find it. Okay, all right, I can't find it. Um, it was here. Well, anyways, okay, we'll go to the lipstick. And we're using a nude, it's L'Oreal nude lipstick. Because with such dark eyes, you want to go with a light lip. Okay. Now for the cheeks, a lot of times I use the same color as my lip. You know, it just works really good. And we're going to just do the little triangle part below the eye. We're not going to do, you know, that deep. Okay, so that works out really good. And then you're going to use a little bit of a bronzer below that. L'Oreal, just a soft bronze. Just under it. And now we're going to want to do some along the side of the nose. Okay. 
and then a little bit around the forehead. And then I always put a little bronzer under my chin. And if you have a fat chin like me, it gives more definition right along the jawbone and under the chin and the upper neck. Okay. And this is a sable, a soft sable. A little more on the nose. And a little bit on the forehead. Kind of do like a V T zone and just along the edge. And of course, the nose under here and the cheeks. Okay, and then to soften the look again, you go back to your press powder so that your eyebrows don't look so pronounced. It softens them. So gently go over with a light translucent to blend, blend, blend. Okay, and if I could find my lip liner, I put the lip liner on. I think I found it. Oh, here it is. So I just use like a rose or a uh, medium pink to outline the nude because Pamela Lee has a um, nice full lip. Right. And what's great is this moisturizer makes everything slide on really good. So that's why you got to use a lot of uh, pressed powder to set it. Or else you get a lot of sliding. Okay. Now we we'll draw the lip. This is very light so I can go over it quite a bit. Alright. Alright. And well, like I said, if you see any boo-boos, you can pat it up here. Alright, so now with the hair, you can get extensions or a blonde wig. You know, Pamela Lee's hair is very light. Alright, and what I do, in the movie, she had hers pinned up. So I'm going to take small pieces of my hair and buy some clips like this. And you're just going to take a piece and clip it. And take some from the front. Okay. And you get the small clips, medium. And you put it on top of your head. Right. And then you're going to take the back of the hair. Hold on, folks. It's hard to work with a camera. I'm not used to this. I'm used to the mirror. So you want to take sections, a couple in the front, and then take the whole bunch of your hair. And you're going to pin it right on top of your head. Like so. And of course, you can get a curling iron and do little tassels. Okay. This is not working out as good as I wanted it. And a couple more here. And I would advise to get curly extensions, you know, like a body wave. This one's super straight and dry because it's old. You need to get no extensions. But I would like the ones you can curl and deep wipe because these are synthetic and now they look like crap. And I need a smaller clip. Mm, sorry, folks. I'm not prepared today. Yeah. Alright. And of course, this one's too big. I'm taking that one out. You want to use small clips, folks. You don't see these big knobs on your head. You know, the butterfly ones or whatever. Okay. And kind of like crisscross them and make it look like you just got on a bad look. Okay. Okay. 
voila. And, you know, if I could curl them, I would. And that's it. So what do you think? Mm. Eat your heart out, Pamela Lee Anderson. <laughs> My eyebrows are a little too dark. They look smudged. So you can smooth them out. And this will need a little bit more rosier blush. Like I said, you just play around with it. Add more as you see fit. And I just smudged it again. I'm doing supposed to be teaching you guys. Okay. So if you make boo boos, you just wipe them off, folks. You know. And uh, I'm doing this just off the cuff. So don't mind me. Powder, powder, powder. And I'm marking with a camera now. I'm not in the mirror, so. The powder really blends really good. And that's my Pamela Lee Anderson. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So, to so all you crazy gals who want to look like a Pam girl for the day, use heavy, dark makeup for the eyes. Like I said, the charcoal black and the blue over it, and you can do it better. Eyebrow. I didn't have an eyebrow pencil. I had to use a shadow, so that's why that's messed up. And, um, you get the idea, though. Dark eyes always use a light lip. Mm. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed my Pamela Anderson look from the movie, uh, um, uh, Barbed Wire. And, uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.